Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing a build that's been requested on the channel quite a bit. You guys seem to have wanted me to do a cliffside house. So today I made a pretty cool cliffside starter house perfect for Minecraft survival and it's right above my head right there look how cool also customize this mountain terrain so hopefully if mojang's listening we're gonna have a brand new mountain biome update i would like it to look something like that but you know what let's uh, jump up let's take a quick peek yep we're gonna be building that right now get ready all right let's get this cliff house started right now this is the block palette we're using very very basic just oak and spruce that's it. There's nothing else. Maybe a little cobble along the way. We're going to put a little fireplace in here, but very simple. So let's pick this out of the wall and let's start working on this. So I'm going to go right now with some logs. I'm going to go right on this one right here. And let's just go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like that. I'm going to give it a space of one, two, three. And then right here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six right there. And then we're going to give it a space of one, two, three. And another little space right here. One, two, three four only four on this one then watch this i'm gonna grab some stairs and we're gonna put some upside down spruce stairs here and there and then we're just gonna go back down so upside down forward forward upside down on both until we reach the back of this mountain right here so super simple just like uh, so oh can i sneak it can i sneak it there we go and we got upside down stair here and we could put uh let's see let's just take this out just because it looks better uh and then a little upside down stair oh upside down stair right there perfect then for this one we're gonna make it a little smaller so just one right here we're gonna put this sideways and whoa whoa upside down right there uh, that's fine let's just do that perfect <laughs> and then we're just gonna sneak that in look in just like so perfect then i'm gonna do a little cross beam we're gonna cross beam right here at this spot overhanging that a little bit just like so and then we're gonna start building up so right here we're gonna go up another one two three and four and five give it a space of three one two three four and five then we're gonna go in give it a space of three and then right on this edge one two three four and five space of three one two three up oh, three four and five matching that right there and then we're going to take this one down a little bit and right here we're going to give it a space of one two three and then here we're going to go up one two three four and five on that and this one just leave that open just like so perfect then right here we're going to actually do another little cross beam right on that and then we're going to put slabs of our spruce we're going to put this right underneath here and cover that up but right here we're going to use some of our stripped oak log and go up one two three and four one two three and four space in the middle we're going to put an upside down stair right here of spruce and we're going to put it right there it's a little doorway to get in and then we're going to go ahead and cross beam right here uh, let's put a spruce fence right in there then we're going to turn this corner and really simple we're going to make a little balcony as well and it's going to look pretty cool but this is how we're going to do it we're going to first put this up one two three and four space one two three and four gonna put another door right here another little gap cross beam here another tiny fence right there and then we're gonna make a little balcony now for this one we're gonna grab our slabs again which are right here and go one two and three then I'm gonna grab some trap doors and go one two three one two three take those up take these out right there and then we're gonna go on the inside put a, a little trap door here and a trap door there and we have ourselves a nice little balcony right there then right here we're gonna do something right here one two three and four one two three and four i'm gonna take this one up all the way but then take these two out and we have ourselves a nice little window right here on this side then this cross beam right here cross beam right here we're gonna do a cross beam right on this end cover this up right here then we're gonna grab some fences and go all the way around like so let's pop this one up and then we're gonna go one across like so we have ourselves a nice little balcony there let's um let's go inside let's knock back right here one row two three and we're going four high for now and then let's go one more so right now we have a space of one two three and four let's go one more so five back right here let's cover up any weird cases out nothing's coming in grabbing me let's put a beam one two three and four and five right there then we have this little spot we're gonna cross beam right here so you know this is just a three by three in the middle let's take this back right up to here 
let's take that beam right up and let's take this back out and cross beam up top right here so we're pretty much matching the same thing just on this side so let's take this out we can do a cross beam let's take this little part out right here let's do a cross beam right here so we have this little spot so then we got just fill out your three by three right here it could be slabs or it could be four blocks or four planks of spruce just like that then let's take this right here we're gonna go up let's recess it in by one but we're gonna take this up with our stripped right in here just like so and then this one we can pretty much match what's happening here just this is the only one i want to recess so we're going to take this one up right over here perfect so just that one's recessed then let's break this off right here let's break it off again and we're going to pretty much go all the way back until we have this little beam right here so this is going to go all the way back just like that let's make this one to a cross beam then let's replace all this right here with slabs or full planks right there then here we're gonna go with our we can put that in there but that's fine you're not gonna really worry about that because right here we're also gonna go back again and then let's actually cross beam right here now this one we're gonna take this up so one two three and four one two three and four one two three and four right there and then on this one let's actually take this beam up right on this edge just like so and then we're gonna cross beam back here so take that back and then let's cross beam right on this end so get rid of this little spot and we're gonna take this up cross beam here and then cross beam this little spot right there perfect and then this one let's cross right up that edge right there now here we're just gonna go ahead and lift this up again one two three and four one two three and four put a little upside down stair there another fence now right here let's go with a little cross beam right there and then let's work a little ceiling. So for now, I'm just gonna go with slabs on the top level, just like that, of spruce. Then we could do another one right here, just at the top level. And that gives you a little bit of uh, a separation, a little recess going up like that, and that looks nice. Now I'm gonna give this wall a little bit of texturing because it looks good now with the stripped oak, but if you add a couple planks in just random spots, it's gonna look a lot better. It's gonna look a little more textured, a little more varied. So it's not just one texture all the way up and down. So something like that, very, very simple, just add so much. So we're gonna do that here right there and then maybe one on the bottom it looks good and then on the inside there was a couple walls so maybe right here maybe a little bit right there and a little bit right there on that side so perfect also right here we're gonna grab some of these lovely old slabs and let's cover that up right there and then let's work on this roof now for the roof we're just gonna go right from this side i'm gonna do everything out of spruce and we're just gonna go straight down so right here go all the way down with our stair just like so then i'm gonna go with an upside down stair regular stair upside down stair going forward I'm gonna put a little upside down here come back down and we're gonna meet up right back on this side perfect then on top here we're gonna put a stair facing that direction just like that then over here we're just gonna take it all the way down and then curve it back this way just like that and then we're gonna put a little upside down stair here and a stair facing inward towards the mountain like that there, we're just gonna come back down and then swing this all the way around like this. Come back down right here and then swing this one all the way back against the mountain like that. And then back here, we're gonna do the same thing. So this goes all the way back, just like so. And then this one goes all the way back, just like so. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit so the mountain will look a little bit better, more like flush with the, the house. So something like that looks all right. There we go. And then right here, we're just gonna come back with slabs and take this all the way back to there. And that goes flush right up against the mountain, which is really, really cool. And then we could do a little bit of terraforming back here just to make it look even nicer. Trap doors to cover this part up. And then even there, if you want, you could just do that. Perfect. So that looks just like this from the outside. Now on this side, I'm gonna do a little bit of an overhang here with some campfire blocks. So let's go right here facing this direction. So those main top lines are going this way. We're gonna go out one, two, and three. One, two, three one two three then we're gonna splash them out <laughs> perfect and then once we do this we're gonna grab our trap doors and i'm gonna do trap doors like this going one two three and four and then take these one two and three all the way around so that kind of overhangs that bit and then down here we're gonna just bring in those fences all the way from top to bottom like that grab some gates and we're gonna surround this part right here in gates all the way around like so so that gives you a little more support and we have this cool little overhang bit right on that now for even more details i'm going to come right here we're going to grab another fence we're going to go up one two and three 
one, two, and three, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab some trap doors. I'm gonna put them one at the top here, one at the top here, one at the bottom, one at the bottom. And then here we're gonna just grab our campfire and take it out uh, one, two, and three, just like that. And then um, my water's gone. Let's bring back the water. And then we're gonna splash this with water. There we go. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our traps again, but on the higher section right there. And it looks really, really cool. Then down here, we could cover those up just like so. All right, now I wanna make like a little bridge that goes from the front door to the next little landmass piece, which is right here. And this is cool. So watch this. We're gonna grab a stair, face it down, just like that. I'm gonna put a slab on the bottom end and on the bottom end right here. Then I'm gonna grab some campfires and run it all the way down to reach right about here. We're gonna go in by one there and just take it all the way down, at least until you have one campfire on the next piece of land like that. Then once we get to the end, I'm gonna put some trap doors going down like that. So that kind of transitions straight in. And then down here, we're gonna do some stuff. How about we do this? Let's put, I'm gonna put an upside down stair uh, right about here and an upside down stair here. So upside down stair here and here and a slab in the middle, slab in the middle. Then from back here, it's supported enough. So I'm thinking I could just do something like this. Let's take that down and maybe this one can go into a full block. Let's actually do double full blocks right there. Now underneath the campfires, I don't like that uh, texture there. So what I'm gonna do is let's change it up a little bit. I'm gonna put some uh, regular oak trap doors in the middle and then we're gonna go with some spruce on the side and that looks 10 times better. Now this bridge looks great like that, but I wanna be a little bit safer when crossing it. So why do we do this? Let's go right here on this edge. We're gonna give it a little bit of a cross beam. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. And right at this trap door, we're gonna go down, dig in, and then pop it out by one on this side. We're also gonna go right in here. So let's dig in and let's pop it up at the same level, right about there. And then we can terraform a little bit so you can kind of get to see that little piece right there looking a little awesome. And then we could take this out. Let's actually take this whole row out and then continue with that going down like so. And that looks so, so much better. Then we can add even more by putting a little bit of fence just going straight down like this. So extra support. And this is fine that that's connecting to the back. If you want to unconnect it, just break it, <laughs> just break the back. We can actually just do it right here. All right, now I love this bridge, but I wanna add a little bit of an overhang to it, right? Okay, so let's do this. Let's grab some campfires and I'm gonna go right on the inside part. The same campfires you see right here, let's put them up top. So one, two, three, following the same line right there. And let's go down. So all the way to about the same where that campfire is at actually. Let's go all the way back. And then we're gonna just extinguish it real fast. All right, that's looking awesome. And now we're gonna grab our trap doors and let's take it all the way down this line right here. And let's overhang it and go around like so and bring it back all the way down this way. Then on the ends, let's grab that same fence and take it all the way to the top. Take this one all the way to the top and we have ourselves a nice little overhang right there. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did over here. We're gonna do it on this side with some fence gates. And this is just gonna go straight down to reach the end, just like that. This is gonna cover it up right here. And then this one's gonna go all the way down from one side to the other, just like that. Now, another thing that I wanna do is add a little bit of detail on the bottom here. So I want some hanging lights. So this time we're bringing in some of the oak. Let's go down two on that one. I'm gonna go down one on this one. Let's go with a lantern and a lantern there. Oh, that looks cool. Then I wanna add a little bit down here. So what if we do this? Let's go one, two, three, one, two, and then one right there, like a little bit of an added detail in that corner. And then maybe one more right here. Let's put another light up right about there. That looks awesome, I think. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Then on top here, we're just gonna add some spruce buttons on those exposed pieces. Now, one thing I really wanna do is to break up this roof. If you wanna keep the roof clean, nice, just like this, keep it, you're good. But if you wanna make it a little more messy, a little more rustic, let me show you how to do it. So we're just gonna come in here, just add a couple full blocks in certain spots. Just take away the stair, add some full blocks. That is it, that is all you gotta do to make it look a little bit more beat up. And I love it. So something like that, super simple to do. And right there, simple, just that does the trick right there. Perfect, let's go on this side. It's gonna randomly just take a couple out, just like so. We're gonna curve this one so you don't see the inside of the house. Maybe that one, something like that. And maybe a couple more right there. That looks great. And then, you know what? Let's do our little uh, fireplace thing. Now, I had an idea. I wanted to put it uh, up against that wall, but you're really not gonna see it if I pop a chimney out here. I really wanna break up this roof a little more. So what if we just do it right on this one? So let's take this out right here 
and let's take this all the way up right on this side wait wrong place right there yeah let's take it all the way up right there let's put this back in here perfect and then let's put it actually up one more let's put a little campfire on top trap doors all the way around and then for this one i think i'm gonna put a little wall on the inside part just like so and that does so much then back here let's actually get rid of this one so we can get in real fast and then we could do a little something on this just to break it up out here just something simple uh maybe take that little piece off go up by two go up by three here and then we could put a little step right on that side and then let me come outside real quick and put another step right here and then cover that up that looks good and then let's take this one out again let's actually take this step up so here we could put the stair and I think, yeah, that looks even better. And just to give it a little bit of texturing, I'm gonna go with some regular stone just inside like this, and maybe just a couple going up like so. That looks great. Yep, that fits in perfectly. Now, one tiny little thing that I wanted to do is I kind of like that that post goes all the way down on that corner. So I want to do the same thing here, just a slight modification. I'm still going to leave this little uh, stair right there on the side, but I want to take this out one more. So one more out and then take it all the way down right at this edge and take it all the way in here. And now watch this when we put this. Oh, no. When we put this little fence here, drop a little lantern and put our button right here. Look how much better that looks right from here. Yeah, I think that's a must have right there just to continue with that beamage, even though it's not lined up perfect, which is really cool that it's actually recessed in um, by a block. So that looks pretty cool. All right, now let's do some interior. So right here, I just went ahead and got this space ready to go so we could put all of our kitchen items back here. So first thing we wanna do, let's put a crafty bench here. I'm gonna put a cauldron on that side, a little barrel in here. Uh, back here, we really don't need anything. So I'm just gonna close that up. Then here, I'm gonna put a smoker, furnace, and not, nope, blast furnace right there. So we got the triple threat of loveliness. Uh, then let's grab some barrels. We're gonna put a barrel here and there. Let's put some trap doors underneath. I'm gonna put a little light in the center and then uh, just some, uh, I think that's perfect. Then we could just do, actually, let's leave that open. We could close this off if you don't wanna put anything on top of that, but if you wanna leave that open and put maybe cakes and stuff on top, that's fine. For now, I'm just gonna close it off. It looks nice just like that. Then let's grab a composter uh, and I'm gonna drop a little bit of a bush here just to give a little bit of a separation uh, right here. So a composter, fill up some of that compost and then go up one and two, and that's perfect right there. Uh, on this side, I wanna do a bunk bed, so this could be like a two-player base, if anything. So we put a bed right here. Let's put some placeholder blocks. I'm gonna put another bed on top, right, uh, right there, uh, there, hold on. I, I can do it, I can believe, I believe. Um, you know what, let's just put it like that. That's fine. Uh, and then, let's just flip it, why not? And then here, let's put barrels. So one, two, and three. Let's grab some ladders, and I'm gonna put a little ladder row uh, going up right here. So one, two, three. And then on top, let's put a slab right there. So bunk beds on that corner. Now for this one, I ended up pushing it back two more because then since we weren't gonna put our fireplace here, uh, let's put our chest room here. So I pushed it back a couple, just some slabs or, or full blocks of planks here. Pushed it back by two, it's up by four. We did that little cross all the way around like that. Super simple to make. Then let's grab some chests. So let's go one, two, three we can go all the way down or you can actually save room uh for barrels on the top it really depends how you guys want to put it uh but you guys get the point we just go straight down and i probably have to knock this down to do this so let's just do it like that <laughs> so uh yeah that's perfect then this you're never gonna see it and then this goes back down and we have our nice little chest room right here uh to give it a little bit of detail you could grab let's see some stairs kind of like twist it around here Grab some trap door, where's some trap door? Right here, and just go down. And this will give you a nice little archway feel for your chest room right inside. Oh, and one thing, let's put some uh, trap doors right there. It looks like that's being held up. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Or you can even do slabs, that might look good as well. Uh, either one is fine. I think that might hurt you if you try to get up from the bed underneath. So I think trap doors will work out a little better. Then we can grab some paintings just to get a little more detail in here and uh this will look nice maybe a little painting back there that looks great and then we could just put some stuff up on this wall here we can actually knock this part down uh and then maybe lift that up 
we could have something there. You can even put a little painting on the inside like that, just to add a little bit more detail. You won't see it from the outside. Now, over here, uh, something you could do, really a couple things. I'm gonna go really simple. Let's go with a little grandfather clock. I've done this before, but it looks really, really cool. Uh, we have our barrel here. Let's get a bell. Uh, and this is a really cool little thing here. So you grab a bell, put it down here. Let's grab a trap door. And this one's gonna go up one, two, three. Let's go one, two, three, right there. Take this back up, put another barrel. Let's grab a uh, item frame. Then we're gonna grab a clock. And then we're also gonna grab a slab. But let's put there, there's our clock. And then a slab on top. We have ourselves a nice little grandfather clock. And it works right there. Or if you didn't want to put that, you could put uh, maybe a little table, maybe a little seating area, but that's perfectly all right. Whatever you guys want to put, want to add maybe another little compost with a bush or a plant or something. That also does the trick. Make sure you put some compost out there. Uh, and that's great. I think we're done out here. Uh, if you wanted to put anything, maybe like a tiny little seat, uh, you can just put it maybe like right there. That's fine. And then maybe a little sign on the side would actually be all right. Right there. Perfect. Then here in the corner, if you wanted to put a little something, maybe a little scaffold and a little flower pot on top with a flower in there. That would look pretty cool. It adds a little bit more detail. So bam and ba bam and a bam bam bam. Perfect. And I think we are good. Maybe a little light out here just to be safe. Maybe throw it in the corner. Uh, and that looks great. And we're all done. Check this out. So I went a little bit overboard with the terraforming, but it's worth it in the end. Because over here, we have a lot of different slabs and stair variations. We have some cobble, some mossy, some gravel, a lot of tall grass, tall ferns, flowers in there, overgrown with bushes. And it's looking so awesome. I really, really love this. Hopefully in the next Minecraft update for the mountain ranges, we can get a little bit more detailed like this. I don't think it's gonna go this far with the detail, but at least a little bit better. And this gives me a little bit of inspiration. Hopefully it does for them too. Mojang, watch my videos. But also if you see over here, we have a lovely old terraformed way up. Very natural, looking just like a bunch of piled up, stacked up rocks. So we have cobble, we have regular stone. We have slabs and stairs of those versions and a little bit of mossy just to make it look even better. And the path. Oh, it looks so good. Also, I added a lot of the big spruces here just to break it up a little bit and make it a little bit more alive. And I like it. What do you guys think? This is a cool little cliffside uh, survival house. I don't know. I think it looks really, really cool. I think if you add this to your world, it'll be so, so awesome. And again, it, it can start out very, very simple like this, like we did on the interior. But remember, if you're on the side of a mountain, you could break right through and have a whole uh, cave system in there. And I've done a couple cave tutorials. If you guys want to check those out, we have a starter cave one and we have our ultimate. So if you guys want to check those out and get some inspiration, if you guys want to bust through this build and just go crazy on the inside, just go ahead and do it. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you, though, everybody, so much for watching. This has been amazing. Let me know what you want to see next in an upcoming video, tutorial, let's play. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.